this video i'm going to guide you on how to connect your fast custody address to metamax or any other ethereum compatible wallet also i'm going to guide you through on how to connect this your fast custody address to platforms like build.top and talent protocol so let's just get started so first and foremost you need to get the wrap cast app so you can go to facasta.xyz and depending on your device you, if you're using an android you're going definitely going for this one if you're using an ios device you're going for this one so download the app and follow through the whole registration process so once you're done with your registration you will now have a wrap cast app you can now go forward to your webcast app. You can also do this on your mobile device, but I'm using my desktop web, webcast app. So the first thing you, for you to be able to view your um, Farcast custody address and your Farcast ID, you need to go to your profile. If you're on uh, mobile, you have to click your profile picture. And then you're going to click on these three dots here. You're going to see about. So you're going to see your FID and your custody address, right? So um, the next thing that you're going to do is um, you're going to um, need to copy your recovery phrase. And for you to do this, you have to um, access this through your mobile um, phone because that particular option is not on desktop so um you're going to go on the mobile now so from your mobile phone you're going to click on your profile picture and you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to advanced and then from here you can see your recovery phrase and you're going to go ahead and click on this and copy your recovery phrase then you're going to go back to desktop for us to um get our private key which you are now going to use to input this particular address on metamax you're going to go to github.com i am coleman vip 39 slash releases so once you get onto this page you're going to download vip 39 standalone.html so you can just click on it and the download would start so once the download has completed you're going to open the HTML file. The reason you're doing this is because you don't want to enter your private key on a live website. So you're going to go ahead and click on this page and it's going to open this. So this is actually a file that is on your local computer right now. So on the BIP39 mnemonic section, you're going to put your seed phrase here. Once you've done that, the next thing you're going to check is you're going to go to this section, ensure that you select ETH. So that should be down in E section, Ethereum. Right, so once you've done this, you can now scroll down to the derived addresses section. And from this section, you can see that the very first address would be the same address that you can see as your custody address. So what you actually need from this page is the private key. So you're going to scroll horizontally and you're going to see your private key and make sure that it starts with an ORX. That's the way you will know that you actually got um, it right. So you're going to copy your private key. And then you're going to open your metamax you're going to go ahead to click on this drop down then add account or hardware wallet then you're going to click on the import account so and then you're going to make sure that this is private key is the one chosen then you're going to enter your private key here i already imported my custody address so i'm not going to die again but once you paste and then import it's going to tell me that this account is already in 
my metamask so but once you've done this it's going to import for you so once you've done this you can now use this particular address to connect to other um platforms so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go back to your webcast app and then you want to verify that particular custody address in your webcast app so you're going to go to um settings and then from settings you're going to click on verify addresses and then when you get here click on verify an address so i'm just going to go back and then remove this address right so i just removed it and i'm going to click on verify address so i'm going to click on connect wallet metamax and i'm going to choose my facasta that was the custom name i gave my custom address i'm going to click on next and then connect and the next step is i need to sign a message so i'm going to click on this button and i notice that the fid is your facasta id and then just scroll down and then sign so with this you've already verified your custody address in your webcast app so once you go back here and refresh the address comes back right so this way you've actually um verified your custom address so you can now go for that to connect to platforms like build.stop so for this platform it's actually an online game you can just um, nominate builders in the space okay let me just disconnect and then so when you come onto this um platform you're just going to all you just need to do is connect your wallet so you can go ahead to still use your facas custody address right so to connect so i'm just going to connect like i did before and then it's going to prompt me to sign a message which i'm going to do so i'm going to sign sign a message and then i'm connected right so right now i can now go ahead to nominate um builders so a builder that i'm sure that they are on webcast is yele and and because i've not nominated this person before you can only nominate somebody once so i can nominate him by just clicking confirm yeah so i can decide to share this on farcast it's just going to create a cast and then i can um tell why i nominated this person what they are building the awesome stuff they are doing in the ecosystem and all that so another platform that you can connect to with your farcast um address is talents protocol so i'm just going to log out um then i'm going to try and if you've not typically if you, if you don't have an account with them you're going to go to create talent pass passport and then to make things easier just go with your github or your linkedin but if you don't have any of these feel free to give them your email and continue and then follow through the process so but i'm just i already registered so i'm going to go through the login so i'm going to go through sign in and then sign in with my github or linkedin either of them and then i'm here right so when you get on this place the more accounts you have the more accounts you have the more points you have so if you have um worked with any of this platform you can just go ahead 
and see the criteria. So I'm still going to go through this myself. So, but I just basically um, entered my GitHub, my LinkedIn, and then from my address, it picked my ENS name, and then my Facasta um, ID, Takai. Just basically, this is just more like your on-chain resume so it just kind of brings together all that you've done your contributions all that you've worked with basically then it's just trying to rate how much of a builder you are so all of this i think some of this is not automatic you have to um i think i've worked with Celo before so i might just come and check um the criteria to include Celo. and then as you're doing all these connections your builder points is being boosted so on to back back to build dot top so you can either find the user here on um Fakasta or you can also find it on talent protocol um if a user have either of this account or both just nominate the user in that case you can also nominate me through talent protocol my username is Amara Chiyuku and if not for anything else, for this video because I believe you've gotten value from this video. So um, nominate me and do well to also cast it so that I will be able to see that you nominated me and I will reciprocate that too. So that's um, all about connecting your Farkas custody address to Metamax and then using it on some other platform. So, Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this video um do well to give it a thumbs up subscribe because i'll be creating more content like this and see you on the next one